You're bored. Huh. Is that why you signed up for this course? Because you're bored? Not a positive reason that you wish to learn more to help yourself or help others. You're just bored. Well, if so, then I would like you, in fact, I would like everyone to get involved in the discussion group. Tell us ways to relieve boredom, apart from signing up for this course, which is about coping with being old. There's also a course detailing my perspective on death. Some of the reviewers say it is the most interesting course they've ever seen. That will stop you being bored. And if you still want ideas, oh well. Okay, welcome to the lecture on boredom. So, what can you do about being bored when you're old? Well, I guess you could read about it. Unbored is the guide and activity book every modern kid needs. Vibrantly designed, lavishly illustrated, brilliantly walking the line between cool and constructive, it's crammed with activities that are not only fun and doable, but also designed to get kids engaged with the wider world. Why not learn a new skill? You start like this. Little Chinese folk song called Tuning. <laughs> and end up like this. Try your hand at cooking. There are countless recipe books available. Many recipe sites. <laughs> Would you like to go vegetarian? Follow the paleo diet or Atkins, whatever your choice, there's a recipe there. You could make up your own reality show. I'm doing this course for free, I remind you. And not for one moment have I been bored doing it. <laughs> How about listening to music or going out to concerts? No longer does going to the cinema or theatre or concerts alone attract a social stigma. What about learning some new words? Too easy? I bet you don't know all the following phrases. Goat cheese curtain. Confluence hunter. Walden zone. Thick data. Heteroflexible, kitchen pass, bronzobite, greengrocer's apostrophe, bozo explosion. If you want to know where they are from or what they mean, then post in the discussion forum. Find a volunteer job. Oh, you hate people? Okay, then work with animals. There might be a dog walking organisation near you. Better still, advertise yourself as a dog walker and earn a few pounds. You could try and make a list of a hundred things to do before you die. A bucket list, if you will. Too long, the list? Well, why not just put the top five? And then, when you achieve them, make another list. How about having a very simple thing to do? Make someone happy. That could be someone you know well or, or someone you hardly know. Happiness is contagious. Making them happy may well end up in you being happy too. Oh, there are so many more things to do. Wash your dog. <laughs> Read poetry. Research your family tree. Apply for an online course. Take a long bath and listen to a recording of Arsenal losing their opening game of the season. 
<laughs> well, if that makes you unhappy, then revisit their Community Shield Triumph. You could even pretend you're asleep, as of course I did in the film. Why not try some philosophy experiments? Lie on the grass at night and look at the moon and pretend or imagine you are looking down rather than up. How do you feel? Well, there, that's enough to get you started. Here are two sites that deal with battling boredom. Post in the discussion forum your own views. One final thought. Have you ever considered that boredom might be good for you? <laughs>